Hi, this is Paula from CHE. Last Thursday evening was a swearing in ceremony for the new set of municipal councillors at Inverness County. Three men and three women were elected at the October municipal election. We have in District 1, Alfred Poirier, in District 2, Lori Cranton, who was elected warden, in District 3, Bonnie McIsaac, who was elected deputy warden, in District 4, John McLennan, in District 5, Link Chisholm, and in District 6, Catherine Gillis. You'll be able to watch the whole ceremony in a few moments, but first, here's new warden Lori Cranton on his goals for the new term. Well, it's getting the council, first of all, orientated and bringing everybody together and, and getting a, a team approach working together for, for all these things. I think something that's on the mind of uh, all our councillors right now is better internet and cellular service, especially in the rural areas, but overall we need that throughout the municipality and if we're going to grow and survive in the future, that's the way of the future, even with COVID right now, it's proving how important in the internet is used, like uh, I had meetings yesterday and today in Halifax and it's all done over Zoom or, or uh, or one of the other platforms and it's so easy and I think even in the future you're going to see when COVID is gone you're going to see some of these things that we've learned through COVID still still very good to use in time saving and efficiency and and we need to develop our systems in the municipality so we're keeping up with the technology and that's where we're failing right now not totally our responsibility in any way, but somebody's got to take that and move it forward. Um, accessibility throughout the municipality, I think, is important. That's something I'm kind of passionate about and working on. And then, you know, catching up on our maintenance of our facilities, like our water and sewer. And, and uh, get, we've got a, a plan of action now, but it's keeping up with that and make sure we're, we're doing what we've already planned. I think doing some risk management assessment of all our departments so we can see where we are and where the risks may be. I think that's a good practice for any board or any, any organization, including a municipality. I think we need to bring in some help to help us do that kind of plan. I think that'll be important. And uh, we have three men and three capable women and it's getting them working together with the, the similar priorities and I'm sure I want to hear from them as to what their ideas and thoughts for the future are as well and I'm sure they have them uh, or they wouldn't be running for council. They have, have interests and priorities and I think it's organizing those so we can be productive for all the districts and make the municipality a better place to live, work and play. Now here's the recording of the ceremony. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a special meeting of the Council of the Municipality of the County of Inverness. My name is Keith McDonald, CAO with the County of, of the Municipality of Inverness. As per Section 12, Subsection 4 of the Municipal Act, I will be chairing this meeting until the board has been duly elected and sworn in. We would like to begin by respectfully acknowledging that the land on which we are gathered this evening is located in ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This evening is the first meeting of the Council of the Municipality of the County of Inverness following the October 17, 2020 municipal election. The first order of business this evening is the swearing in of our newly elected council members who are all seated here this evening. Before they can enter upon their duties as councillors, they must first swear or affirm the oath of allegiance and of office. We are very thankful to have the services of this, the services this evening of Justice of the Peace, Lynn Van de, Van, Van de Vin, who will be administering the oath of allegiance and, and of office to our newly elected councillors. So if I could kindly ask you to go to the podium. We will now each ask each counselor individually to attend to the podium and swear or affirm the oath before the Justice of the Peace. So we'll begin with District 1, Alfred Poirier. Thank you. 
I, Alfred Poirier. I, Alfred Poirier. Swear that I will be faithful. Swear that I be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I will duly qualify. And I duly qualify. As required by the law. As required by the law. For the office of counselor. For the office of counselor. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. For the municipality of the county of Inverness. And I will truly and faithfully and impartially. And I will truly and faithfully. Faithfully and impartially. Execute the duties of office. Except, execute the duties of office. The duties of office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received. And that I have not received. And will not receive any payment. And I will not receive any payment. For the exercise of any particulars. For the exercise of any particular. Or other undue execution. Or undue execution. Of the duties of my office. Of the duties of my office. You so swear. I do swear. Okay. Now representing District 2, Lori Cranton. I, Lori Cranton, swear. I, Lori Cranton, swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty, the Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty. Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I am duly qualified. And that I am duly qualified. As required by law. As required by law. For the office of counselor. For the office of counselor. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. And that I will truly and that I will truly and faithfully and faithfully and impartially and impartially perform the duties of office perform the duties of office which I have been elected which I have been elected to the best of my ability to the best of my ability and that I have not received and that I have not received and will not receive any payment and will not receive any payment or rewards or promises thereof and, or rewards or promises thereof for the exercise of any partiality for the exercise of <clears throat> any partiality or other undue execution or other undue execution of the duties of my office of the duties of my office I do so swear I do so swear okay. Now representing District 3, Bonnie McIsaac. I, Bonnie McIsaac, swear. I, Bonnie McIsaac, swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty, the Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and accessors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I will do, that I am duly qualified and that I am duly qualified as required by law as required by law for the office of counselor for the office of counselor of the municipality of the county of Inverness of the municipality of the county of Inverness and that I will truly and that I will truly faithfully and impartially faithfully and impartially execute the duties of the office execute the duties of the office which i have been elected which i have been elected to the best of my knowledge and ability to the best of my knowledge and ability and that i have not received and that i have not received and will not receive any payment and will not receive any payment or rewards or promise thereof or rewards or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality for the exercise of any any impartiality or other undue execution or any undue execution 
Of the duties of my office. Of the duties of my office. I do so swear. I do so swear. Now representing District 4, John McLennan. I, John McLennan, swear. I, John McLennan, swear. That I will be, faith that I will be faithful yep. and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty the Queen. To Her Majesty the Queen. Elizabeth II. Elizabeth II. Her heirs and her, successors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I am duly qualified then that I'm duly qualified as required by law as required by law for the office of councillor for the office of councillor of the municipality of the county of Inverness <coughs> of the municipality of the county of Inverness and that I will truly faithfully and impartially and that I will truly faithfully and impartially execute the duties of office execute the duties of office to which I have been elected to which I have been elected and to the best of my knowledge and ability and to the best of my knowledge and ability and that I had not received, and that I have not received, and I will not receive any payment, and I will not receive any payment for the exercise of any partiality, for the exercise of any partiality, or other undue execution, or any other undue execution of the duties of my office. And the duties of my office. I do so swear. I do so swear. Now for District 6, Catherine L. Gillis. I, Catherine Gillis, swear. I, Catherine Gillis, swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I am duly qualified. And that I am duly qualified. As required by law. As required by law. For the office of counselor. For the office of counselor. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. And that I will truly. And that I will truly. Faithfully and impartially. Faithfully and impartially. Execute the duties of the office. Execute the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And to the best of my knowledge and ability the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received. And that I have not received. And I will not receive any payment. And I will not receive any payment. Or reward or promise thereof. Or reward or promise thereof. For the exercise of any partiality. For the exercise of any partiality. Or other un undue execution. Or other undue execution. Of the duties of my office. Of the duties of my office. I do so swear. I do so swear. And now for District 5, Lynn Chisholm. I, Lynn Chisholm, swear. I, Lynn Chisholm, swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to the law. According to the law. And that I am duly qualified. And that I am duly qualified. And as required by law. As required by law. For the office of counselor. For the office of counselor. Of the municipality of the county of Inverness. <coughs> municipality of the county of Inverness. And that I will truly. And that I will truly. Faithfully and impartially. Faithfully and impartially. Execute the duties of the office. Execute the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received. And that I have not received and that I will not receive any payment and that I will not receive any payment or rewards or promise thereof <coughs> or rewards or promise thereof for the exercise of any partiality for the exercise of any partiality or other undue execution or other undue execution of the duties of my office of the duties of my office I do so swear I do so swear <laughs> I would like to now ask everyone to join me in welcoming the new council of the municipality of the county of Inverness.
So thank you for your services this evening. Justice of the Peace, Ms. Van de Ben. Uh, we'll be calling you back up shortly once we uh, duly elect uh, warden and deputy warden. So the next item in our agenda for today's meeting is the signing of the Code of Conduct Policy. Now that our counselors have been duly sworn into their new office, one of their important duties is to acknowledge and support the Council Code of Conduct Policy. I will now ask each of the counselors, having previously reviewed the Council Code of Conduct Policy, to sign Appendix A to the Council Code of Conduct Policy, which is the Statement of Commitment to to the Council Code of Conduct. Each one of you have been provided a copy of the Code of Conduct policy um, at, at your location. So if you could sign those, and then we'll have uh, Debbie Nicholson collect those as they're completed. Thank you. We'll move on to agenda number four. Item number four is the uh, appointment of warden. So the next order of business this evening is for our counselors to select a warden of the municipality of the county of Inverness for among, among themselves. We will first proceed uh, with the nominations from the floor. Nominations are now in order for the office of warden for the municipality of the county of Inverness. <coughs> I would like to nominate Catherine Gillis. <laughs> She's declining, I guess. Just let me check. <laughs> so we have a nomination for Councillor Gillis. Are you accepting the nomination? No, I am not accepting the nomination. So the nomination is declined. We are now still seeking nominations from the floor for the Office of Work. I nominate Lori, Lori Cranton. So we have a nomination for Lori Cranton. Is there a seconder for the nomination? I'll second the nomination. That nomination has been seconded by Councillor Gillis, do you accept the nomination? Yes, I do. So we have uh, Lori Crant, Councillor Lori Cranton has been nominated. Are there any further nominations for the Office of Warden? I move Albert Borey, District 1, Shady Camp. We have a motion from Councillor McLennan for Alfred Borey. We have a seconder for the motion. All seconded. We have a seconder for the motion by McIsaac. Councillor Alfred Poirier, do you accept the nomination? Yes, I do. So we have two nominations for warden. Is there any other nominations? Is there any further nominations? Last call for any not further nominations for the Office of Board. So if not, nominations are now closed. So each counselor does have a ballot in front of them. Uh, if you could please name your candidate for your selection for warden. Uh, we'll have Debbie Nicholson collect those via a ballot box, and then I will proceed as chair with our legal counsel to uh, count the ballots once they're collected. You can't take as long as the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> if, if council wants us to. <laughs> 
Centrex staff to do so, we could look at the Before I move into the next order of business, I'd like to thank everybody for their support, the new council. Um, we have a very special new council this year. We have three women and three men, all very capable, um, to lead us through our job as municipal councillors and work hard for the County of Inverness. Um, I probably have a little bit of different approach than it's been done in the years past, but I'm looking for a team approach where we all look together. We need to be honest and transparent, and we need to consider the common good for Inverness County. It's not who counts the most marbles but uh, for their district, but decisions should be made in the best interests of the municipality and the, respect, and the respective district. We need trust confidentiality when required, and work towards visions. Um, we need to show empathy, respect for others, and work as a council, not in individual silos. Uh, show respect for staff and work with staff through our CAO and bring issues that are important to our council table. If we follow these guidelines and others, I am confident we will make a difference in Inverness County and continue to make it a beautiful place to live, work, and play. Um, 
My first item as business as your new warden is the, uh, the, the selection of the deputy warden. And as you all know, I'm new at this, so bear with me a little bit as I go through this. I'm just getting some of this paperwork for the first time. But uh, the uh, councillors need to select their deputy warden. The process will be much the same as we just went through pretty well, except for it's a de de deputy warden. The procedure used for nominations and election of the deputy warden, like I said, is the same as the warden. Uh, nominations for deputy warden um, will go the same and we'll proceed with nominations from the floor. Nominations are now in order for the Office of Deputy Warden of the Municipality of the County of Inverness. Um, and uh, I'm opening the floor up for nominations. Are there any nominations for the position of Deputy Warden? I'll go ahead, your ladies first. I uh, nominate or remove uh, Bonnie McIsaac. A nomination for Bonnie McIsaac. I'll second. We have a seconder. Are there any? What's that? Do you accept the position? The nomination, I should say. Yes, thank you. Um, are there any other nominations for the position of Deputy Warden? Are there any other nominations for the position of Deputy Warden? I'll ask one last time. Are there any other nominations for the position of Deputy Warden? So we have one nomination, and uh, I will declare that Bonnie McIsaac is declared the. <laughs> and she will now be sworn in by her Justice of Peace. I run the Kaiser Square, I run the Kaiser Square, that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, her heirs and successors, according to the law, according to the law, and that I am truly qualified, and that I am truly qualified, as required by law, as required by law, for the office of Deputy Warden, for the office of Deputy of the municipality of the county of Inverness. Uh, for the, uh, the municipality. For the municipality of the county of Inverness. And that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially. And I will truly, faithfully, and impartially. Execute the duties of the office. Execute the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. And to the best of my knowledge and ability. And that I have not received, and that I have not received, and will not receive any payment, and will not receive any payment, or reward or promise thereof, or reward or promise thereof, for the exercise of any partiality, for the exercise of any partiality, or the or other undue execution, or other undue execution of the duties of my office, or of the duties of my office. I do so swear. I do so swear. Congratulations, Bonnie, and if you'd like to say a few words, you're more than welcome. I'm honored. I'm honored, and I'm looking forward to working with the fabulous team. And it's going to be a whole new great council. Excellent. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is the appointment of the nominating committee. This is a decision of council. Um, and one thing I'll, I'll suggest to the councillors out there, I know we all should be involved in uh, nominating our committees. We have a lot of very important committees that we work with and, and are involved with. Um, and I'm suggesting the committee of the whole, which is all our councillors, make up the nominating committee. I don't know what you think about that, but. Uh, I'll open up the floor any discussion on the nominating committee and if someone wants to make a motion you're more than welcome to put that forward. Well, I'm going to have a 
easy job if you all stay this quiet. <laughs> Any suggestions? What do you think about committee of the whole making that up? Which would include all the councillors. I'll move that. Catherine is going to make a motion for the committee of the whole. <coughs> Do I have a second of the second. motion? I'll have a second. So the motion to be made um, to you, for the committee of the whole to make up the nominating committee. It is moving, moved, and second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Oh. Our last thing on the agenda is uh, the date and time of our next meeting. And I know we have new members of council here. Um, we have been meeting, I believe, the last Thursday of the month, the Committee of the Whole, first Thursday. And then, is it the third Thursday for the, third Thursday for the um, council meetings of the month? We've tried to stick to that, but with new people here, that may not work with your other schedule, so I'm interested. In, first of all, if that schedule works for everybody, if it doesn't, maybe we can adjust it so that everybody is available for our meetings. Councillor would you like to vote? I, I would like um, the monthly meeting, if it would be, the day of the week is fine, but if it could be 3 o'clock as opposed to 1.30, that would be um, going forward. Uh, uh, Councillor, yes, I have a question here. Uh, it's overall. It's the same thing, Judy being centralized. You know, I'm the only one that had to drive an hour and 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 45 minutes. There's nothing going on now. And uh, what is happening? I'm not going to leave Port Hood at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night to drive through the snowstorm or anything like this. So we have to organize. I was working before at a different job, and I made sure that I could go to that meeting. So I think it should be the same as it was before. And if it is 3 o'clock, I don't want any four hours meeting. I want two hours <clears throat> because it's been dragging too long. And I'm not going to take it anymore because I'm driving an hour and a half. And the, the, the numbers here would have been to Councillor uh, Catherine, the same driver as me. John, all the rest are closer to Shenanigan. So I just want to make this point that uh, I won't agree. Okay. Three o'clock, not more than five. Okay, I have a suggestion. Um, in order to change the time of our meetings, we have to change our policy, uh, which we can, it, it takes a little more discussion than here tonight. So our next meeting would be at 1.30 on the November 12th. November 12th. So I'm suggesting we go with that and then we take this discussion further at that time and, and if people that aren't available. I do have a concern about three in the afternoon knowing the length of our meetings and, and driving north as well, like Councilor Poirier, um, that, uh, so we, we should be discussing that and we need to uh, uh, give some thought to maybe another date that's more appropriate or whatever that we could meet. We used to even go earlier than 1.30 at one time. Um, our committee, the whole meetings, pretty well go from 9.30 till we finish in the morning. And that's on a Thursday as well. So if you could give some thought to that, and that, it'll be on the agenda for our, for our first council meeting, which we'll, we'll, we'll keep to 1.30. If we can do that one, then we can study for there, because I can understand Councilor Poirier's concern there as well. Is everybody OK with that? OK, if that's OK, then I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Move by Councilman Cunningham. I'm seeing, seeing, sorry, before we finish. Sure. I'm seeing uh, number seven signing authority. 
Oh, sorry, I appreciate just that. Just before, just yeah, before. I appreciate that. That's okay. Um, That's why I'll ask our here. CAO what our policy is right now in signing authority. Policy is for the warden. The, policy, the current policy is for the warden, and as well as the CAO and the director of finance. Um, so we're looking for a motion to continue that uh, process. So as you heard right now, those are the three signed authorities, um, which seem to be appropriate and have worked in the past. If everybody's okay with that and someone wants to make a motion. It's been moved by Catherine Gillis, second by Bonnie Kaisek, that we stay with the same policy on the signed authority. Any further discussion? Question? All in favor, aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Now we can move to a motion to adjourn. And thank you for that, Deputy Warden. <coughs> Shall we move into motion to adjourn? I think we had one by Councilman Clinton, so we don't need a seconder for that. So, uh, meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Um, it, uh, it's great to see such a crowd here. No snow on the roads tonight, and everybody had a safe drive home. And I thank staff for setting this up like they did with, uh, with all the good COVID policies in mind, so we're all safe and able to attend this as well. So uh, it's, it's really great. I think this is the biggest crowd we ever had at a, at a, a ceremony like this. And uh, it's great to see the interest, and thank you all. You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.